Hi, I'm Bjorn from Skeno. Thank you for coming in. I will share something with you and it's fun today. We do some bubbles. And yeah, what can I say? Yarn is on my needle and I will knit one row with you together to show you how I do my bubbles. This is not really a project but it can be used for a sweater or something and uh, just watch me. Um, maybe you have needles ready and yarn and follow me and copy what I'm doing and maybe you learn something. So thank you for coming and see you soon in my little studio. So welcome on my little studio table and we have something funny. We talking about bubbles and as you see I, I knitted five bubbles here and uh, to show it a little bit better I changed the color to this coral color in the silverly grow uh, um, background. So it's our Venice yarn in silver and coral. And uh, the next row I will knit and show to you how I do my bubbles. So uh, it's a two row repeat where you can uh, do the bubbles. I did it with seven stitches. I will move it over a little bit so you can eventually see that this is like a star here around the loop from the silver gray. So let's move the camera and then I will show you how to knit it. The first row is the back row from one repeat for one bubble. So I changed the yarn to my apricot or whatever you call it. And my first four stitches are just a seed stitch so I have um, one knit and one purl, the third and the fourth. So and now I am knitting the first bubble right in here. So there are from the five stitches in the middle so that will be here. I'm knitting another three stitches. Means actually I purl it. So one, two, three. And in this stitch here, the falling stitch, comes a bubble. And the bubble is knitted not purl-wise, it's knitted knit-wise. So you knit the first stitch and yarn over. The second stitch and yarn over. The third stitch, oops, I lost it, and yarn over. And one more stitch. And then we have seven wraps on the needle. So one, two, four, five, six, seven. And they are wrapping nicely around that stitch. I will open up this later so we can see it. So and the, for the next bubble I will show you what you shouldn't do. And because that's a difference. So between the two bubbles are five stitches. Two, three, four, five. So some would say I have to knit from the front and I have to knit from the back. But if you do that, you have in between here two wraps. And that looks so much different than the other way. So I will show it to you again. So knit, yarn over, knit, yarn over, knit, yarn over, knit. There we go. That's five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was wrong. Seven. So now comes the three stitches before the edge. Three, and here comes my four stitches for my little seat stitch edge. Three. And the last one I will just slip. So the second row is all the way across with the same color. First stitch is knit. So here's my seat stitch. Two, three, and four. So now I'm knitting towards my first bubble, the three stitches. Here comes my bubble, and it will be purled. Seven stitches to purl. One, two, three. It's a little tight. Four, five, six, 
seven. And then you turn your work around and you slip the first stitch and knit six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn your work. So you have kind of short rows. And this will be all purled. Yarn in the front. Slip the first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's your bubble here. So now in between five stitches, all knit. One, two, three, four, five. And now we repeat the same here. So it's purl. One, two, first draw it's a little tight. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Turn your work around. My gray yarn is in the way. First stitch is slipped. Now it's all knitted. Six stitches knitted. Take your time when you do this. It's a little stretchy. There we go. And the last row again purl. And you slip the first stitch as to purl. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That was bubble number two. And now you change it to the back and three stitches knitted. Two, three, and my little border. It's seed stitch. The knit stitch will be purled and the purl stitch will be knitted. Three, and the last one I slip. Now I change the yarn to the basic yarn. That is here my silver yarn. And I will knit across. So the first one again, knit, pearl, knit, pearl for my edge. Three, four, pearl. And now I have the next three stitches are knit, pearled. One, two, three. So now I am at my bobble, which one shows me the stitch rows. So the yarn comes in the front. You can drop it because now you have to, the seven stitches have to become one. So my way is uh, I'm moving four stitches on my right needle and slip the third stitch over the fourth. Bring the stitch to the left needle and move one stitch over that stitch. Move it to the right. Get rid of this one. Move it back to the left. Get rid of this one. And back on the right needle. The last stitch from the right. Back on the left. And the last stitch from the left side. So picking up my yarn. And now you bypass this stitch where everything is being piled up. You just slip it if to knit, if to purl, of course, purl. And so it's going behind. Now the stitch is in between. One, two, three, four, five. And now drop my yarn. I do the same here. Four stitches going on the right needle. Just move it over. It doesn't matter the way you want to. Then the third stitch goes over the fourth. Moves the stitch back on the other side. Move this one over here. Moves the stitch to the right. The right stitch over. Move it to the left. The left stitch over. 
goes back to the right and the last from the right side back to the needle and the left stitch over there we go um, I lost just six stitches and I'm back to one slip it and the yarn is behind or in front of you the three stitches before the edge three stitches purled and now comes my seed stitch edge one two and three and the last one is just being slipped so now let's see so we knit now here are the bubbles one two let me knit one more time over so that is my WK wrap and knit then comes the slip stitch, uh, the purl stitch here, and the knit one for my four stitches for the little edge I have, and now it goes all the way across, all knitted, and then I will share my result with you. So here is the stitch we slipped before, knit, knit, the five stitches in between. Here's my last bubble stitch. One, two, three. I'm ready on my edge. One, two, three, four for my. Oops, that was wrong. This one has to be purled. One, two, three, four. No. Knit it. Purl knit, purl. The edge is just to, to keep it from rolling and the last one is just slipped. So here are my next bubbles and you see they really really bubble bubble in the front. This is kind of a little funny even with the stripes here from changing the yarn and I want to show you again and I hope the close-up works. This is the stitch here sitting in my knit stitch and yarn over, knit yarn over, knit yarn over. So this is so important that this is covering the yarn from the row before and makes this little half moon. So and here you see the stitches all piled up on the very end and to make the bubble really a bubble. So I hope you like it. Maybe you can put this on a color from a sweater or maybe a yoke all the way around the neck or whatever you like. The back side is not so exciting, but uh, for a garment, it, it's, it's pretty neat. So if you like it, maybe it's a little bit old fashioned, but I just wanted to share this with you because I have fun doing these bubbles. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.